You're watching Fox 17 News. Welcome back to Fox 17 News at 6. I'm Doug Reardon. And I'm Annie Satowski. Sports betting is now legal in the state of Michigan. Yes, it is. Governor Whitmer signed the bill legalizing it today along with online gambling. Fox 17's Darren Cunningham is live in the studio after speaking with an expert on that topic. Darren? Yes, good evening. Local rep Brent Iden was one of the lawmakers who sponsored this bill along with the Democrat from Detroit. The governor calls it bipartisan legislation as it helps maintain funding for public schools. Sports betting has been an interesting topic for the last few years in the state of Michigan. In 2015, a lot of states really started looking at how they were regulating sports betting. And after much debate, the bets are on here in Michigan. And when regulations are in place, it'll be the 14th state where sports betting and online gambling is both legal and active for people 21 and older. According to the American Gaming Association, six other states are also in the process of legalizing it. Oh, here at Gun Lake Casino, we've always looked at this as another positive entertainment offering to give to our guests, and it's a great addition. If you look at other states where this has been approved, um, you'll see a pattern of these additions being positive, and we look forward that to, to that being the same here in Michigan. Grand Rapids-based attorney Michael Huff says there were a lot of moving parts to figure out. Detroit casinos, tribal casinos, and sports leagues all have a stake in this, along with the online gambling hotline. But the biggest consideration and point of contention for lawmakers was the school aid fund. The concern is that the Michigan Lottery will lose some revenue as players move over into the sports betting field. Um, and so the state wanted to make sure that a drop in lottery revenues did not have a corresponding drop in school aid funds. As a result, the bulk of the funds from sports betting will go toward the school aid fund. And funds from sports betting and online gambling will also help support firefighters who end up having cancer. While the law took effect today, Huff says there's a lot the state gaming control board needs to figure out in terms of regulations. All casinos will need to be licensed, and he says we could see that happen in the next two to three months. Live in the newsroom this evening, Darren Cunningham, Fox 17 News. All right, Darren, thank you. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has invited President Trump to deliver the State of the Union before a joint session of Congress next year. And he